everyone, it's Bryony. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be reviewing the Bugaboo Dragonfly. The Bugaboo Dragonfly is the newest pushchair to the Bugaboo range. And it's one that I was fascinated by the moment I saw that they were going to be releasing it. Also, because it's such a new product to the market, I realized that I couldn't really find any proper parent reviews on this, particularly on YouTube, showing what people's experiences were using the product. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it really helpful to see other people's experiences with using products before I buy them, particularly with baby products that are really expensive, like push chairs, like the Bugaboo. So now that I've been using this product for five months, both in its bassinet form and in the seat unit form, I felt that I knew enough about it to be able to give a good sense to you guys out there whether or not this pushchair would be right for you and your family. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my reviews before, I like to start out these reviews by talking about the pros and then also the cons too because I believe that every single product has a con to it and it might be a case of the cons are not cons for you and the pros may be pros to me but not pros to you. So hopefully by sharing things that worked and didn't work for me, you'll be able to make an assessment about whether this product is going to be right for you. I do just want to add a little disclaimer here though before I jump on into sharing the pros of this pushchair with you guys because I bought the book Bugaboo pushchair myself, it was not gifted to me, but when I bought it I was so excited to get it because while I was pregnant I was really unwell, uh, I had a lot of struggles with mental health, a lot of physical issues and I had previously been really excited about choosing my pushchair that I was going to have for my baby because I've always loved pushchairs, I've used quite a few before I had my own baby, I was a foster carer so I've gone through quite a few pushchairs and I know what I like and don't like about a pushchair. And I was really excited to be able to pick out my special push chair for my own baby. However, because I was so ill in my pregnancy, I never got a chance to do that and I never got that excited feeling. And it was something I felt really sad about. But when Bugaboo launched the Dragonfly, my son was three months old at the time. And I remember being like, wow, this looks like just the sort of thing for me. It's an urban push chair. I live in an urban environment. And because I had that kind of like fizzly, bubbly, happy feeling about being really excited about a new product, I decided to go, screw it. Even though I had a push chair at the time that was working perfectly fine, I was like, do you know what? I wanted to have this moment and I didn't get it before. So I ordered it when I was, when he was three months old and he started using it at three months old. So I am gonna try really hard to put that bias aside, but I did just wanna mention first of all that I did have that kind of special moment with this push chair because it was something I felt really excited about and was one of the ways I knew I was getting better actually after I had my son with my mental health. So I uh, just wanted to give like a little heads up there about that. But I, as I said, I do like to focus on the pros and the cons and I have thought really hard about them too. So hopefully this video is as unbiased as possible. So let's start off with the good things about this push chair. The first one has got to be the fold. The Bugaboo Drag Fly has a really innovative fold. It can fold with the bassinet on, it can fold with the seat unit facing, parent facing or world facing, which is one of the most useful things about a push chair. I hate when push chairs only fold with the seat unit facing forwards. It's such a faff I find to have to change the seat round every time you want to open and close the push chair. And this truly is amazing on this push chair. It's probably its best feature. The fact that it folds down all in one with the bassinet on was one of the things that fascinated me because the bassinet folds up too and it is so useful for storing if you have limited space like me. I live in a two bedroom flat, I live in a town and most of my use for my push chair is either directly from my house to or my flat directly to the local food shop or it might be putting in the car and going a bit further afield. But generally speaking my push chairs get used for urban use so that was something that really appealed to me about this push chair because that's what it's aimed for. And the fact that it could fold with the bassinet on or the seat unit on all in one piece and stand on its own was a big bonus to me. The other thing that's really good about its fold is it can be done one handed and I can confirm that it really can be done one handed. I often have my son on my hip while I fold it up or open it up. It is very doable one handed. So that statement that they make is true. It is easy to fold and unfold. I will say it did take a little bit of practice to get used to folding it in the right kind of way to get the bassinet um, collapsing function to activate but once you've got the hang of it it's very easy to do it just involves holding it up at a particular angle but once you once you figure it out it, it doesn't take long it's not a complicated fold whatsoever the fold and unfold function of this pusher is definitely one of its best features it's so good that I often find that there are times where if I've got two pushers in the car which I sometimes have because like I said before I have a little bit of a push chair addiction but there have been times where I've had both the bugaboo dragonfly and the bugaboo ant in the back of my car and I've driven into town and sometimes the compactness of the ant, which is one of their old models, they don't make it anymore. Um, sometimes that compactness was really beneficial, particularly if you were on public transport and stuff. And I would think maybe I should get the ant out, but it's such a faff to open that pushchair up that I often went, 
I'm just gonna get the dragonfly. It's just easier to get the dragonfly out. So there are times where I found myself reaching for it purely because of its ease of use over maybe like it would be slightly more practical to have a really compact push trip at that time, but the dragonfly is just so easy to pop up and pop down that I was like, eh, I'll go for that one. Another thing I like about the Buggery Dragonfly is how light it is. It really is a light mid-sized push chair. It's not an ultra light push chair. It's not like a super compact one that goes in the overhead locker for a plane. It's not gonna be small enough for that. It's a mid-sized push chair. However, if you are somebody who really struggles with like a bad back or you are not able to lift a lot of weight, even though the Bugaboo Dragonfly is designed to fold down with both the seat and the bassinet unit on it, if you take either the seat unit off or the bassinet off, the two pieces separately are really lightweight. So if you're really someone that struggles with that, this would definitely be a push chair to consider for you because you'll be able to separate the pieces out and lift them into the push into a car or wherever you need to put them separately. Even together they are pretty light, but if you do separate them out, it's quite staggering just how light that frame is. They've used um, a combination of like new plastics and stuff and recycled materials in order to make this push chair lighter and it has worked. But it still feels really sturdy. I don't feel like this is a cheap push chair that's like rickety or anything. It feels really strong, which is another good thing about it. One of my other favorite features of this push chair is the basket space. It is by far the best basket space on any of the Bugaboo models. It's really easy to access. It's massive. It's great if you need to use the push chair to go to a food shop because you can get so many bags under there. Honestly, like you can get so much under this push chair. It is definitely one of my favorite features of this push chair. And again, another reason why I often use it, if I'm going shopping and I think I'm gonna have a lot of things to carry, then I want to have a push chair that's got decent basket space. This absolutely ticks that box. Another feature I really like about the push chair is the little shopping basket it has on the back of the basket, which can also be lifted up and placed onto the handlebars. This is something I have used quite a bit myself. I find it really handy if I just wanna have my phone easy to grab, or I want to put my water bottle in there and I don't want to hang like my entire backpack off of the handlebar because that does degrade the handlebars over time because the weight of the backpack pulls it down and you don't want to damage your push chair if you can avoid it. So I like to lift this little one up because it just gives me easy access to all those bits. But then again, you can also put it away on the bottom if you don't want to do that. So I like that there's the adaptability for it too. Something else I think is worth noting about this push chair is that like all Bugaboos, it has a really nice push. Bugaboo designed their push chairs really well and when you push them you can really feel the difference. It's not at the level of say something like the Bugaboo Fox which to be honest you kind of expect the Bugaboo Fox is like a multi-terrain push chair, it's bigger, it's got bigger wheels so it is going to be like a better push in terms of that side of things but the Bugaboo Dragonfly is really nice to push and I've never had any problem maneuvering it, I like the push on this push chair. Another good thing about the Bugaboo Dragonfly is the harness straps and the bumper bar. The harness straps on all the new Bugaboos are really easy to use and they spring out so you're never going to have them sitting on one of the straps you can always find them that's really clever how bugaboo do this function um, and I'm sometimes just will strap them in with three straps rather than all five of them I find with my son he's okay for that but if you have a wrigglier baby or a bigger child that you need to be strapped in more you can do all five or you can just do the bottom three it's a bit more adaptable than just having to like find a strap and insert a piece and then clip it in you can clip them all in separately so I do like that and the bumper bar is again a one-handed function you can pull it open it swivels out in all directions nothing is more annoying to me than a bumper bar that is tricky to open with one hand bugaboo dragonfly isn't it's really good so i do like that feature as well overall i think one of the most positive things about the dragonfly is it's just a really good balance of compromises it's not too big as a push chair but it's also not ultra compact so it kind of sits comfortably in the middle it's got a really good basket size it's not super big like say the upper baby vista but that basket is massive but it also hasn't been too compact either so it's a really good middle sized basket. Actually the basket is really big, I really do like the basket. It's easy to fold but it still manages to stand up. It just manages to balance many things where you're like actually it does this quite well and this quite well and this quite well and it just covers a lot of bases. That's the thing that I really do like about the Bugaboo Dragonfly. Now let's move on to the things that I think could be better with the Bugaboo Dragonfly. Starting off with the number of coffee cup holders. This might sound a bit ridiculous but bear with me. So with Bugaboo they have these special attachments on the side that you can clip multiple things onto, such as one of the Bugaboo coffee cup holders, the Bugaboo bags, and if you take the bag off the bottom of the shopping basket and clip it onto the side, you also put this over these attachments. However, on the Dragonfly, they only have two, and that's on either side of the handlebar. But what that means is that if you put your, if you have a Bugaboo changing bag clipped on there, because they come with those clips included as well, 
or if you have the bag from the bottom of the pushchair hooked onto the handlebars, you then can't hook anything else on those same attachments. So if you have a cup of coffee or anything, you can't put the coffee cup holder on the side. Some of the other Bugaboo models have three of these attachments, so they might have two on the side and one in the middle, and that means that you can have a bag clipped on and a coffee cup holder or some other thing. Bugaboo do quite a lot of accessories, so there's quite a few things you can mix and match when it comes to these. Uh, products, but I do wish they had an extra attachment somewhere so that you could have the bag clipped on and the coffee cup holder. I tried to make do with, um, because I bought it as a set, because in order for me to get this early I had to buy it all as a set. It came with the changing bag, which also came with some Velcro on versions of these adapters. So I Velcroed one to the side of the strap for a bit, but with a coffee cup holder, particularly if you've got heavy drink in there, it just kind of slips down, so it didn't really work. But yeah, I think for future models, I really hope they update that. The reason they haven't put it on is because the middle of the handlebar has a sliding mechanism, which is how partly how you close and open the push chair. So I can see why they didn't put it on, but I really hope they can maybe find another place to put one because it would be really handy. I do appreciate that I'm picking little things here but like I said I wanted to point out everything because some of these things might be a big deal for you and some of them you're going to be like yeah we're not worried about that. The next thing that I think could be improved with this pushchair is the little shopping bag that comes off the bottom of the pushchair and onto the handles. I'd really like it if they had some way for this to close when you have it on the handlebars because at the moment it's just kind of like this open um bag which if I had my phone and my wallet in there someone could just reach over and grab it so if they had like a little flap or any way to kind of close the top I think that would be really handy and I don't think it'd be too difficult to do so bugaboo I really think you should work on that one if you bring out another updated model of the dragonfly because I don't think it would be complicated and I think it would make a big difference. The other thing to know about this pushchair is it won't handle any rough terrain but to be fair to bugaboo it's not designed for that. This is an urban pushchair it's designed for city and town use for pavement or for smooth surfaces. If you live somewhere with a local park that's got a paved way, even if it's just like flat ground or um, as long as it's not gravel, you know, because gravel's quite, to be fair, gravel's hard for any pushchair to go through. I think it's unlikely you'd have gravel in your playground, but you might do. But if it's a paved surface or flattened, you know, soil or something, you're going to be absolutely fine with the dragonfly. That's okay. But any sort of off-roading terrain, it's not for, designed for that. It's not going to be capable of that. You're going to need a full off-roader or terrain capable pushchair. The dragonfly does not fit that brief. Another con I think to the pushchair is that although it's mid-size, it is quite big for the mid-size range. To be fair to the pushchair, it's more that it's quite tall when it's folded. So some pushchairs you'll find they'll be quite short and wide, whereas the Dragonfly is quite tall but quite narrow. Um, I had this little area outside my flat which is quite handy for storing pushchairs. I have to say the Dragonfly fits this no problem for me because it's quite narrow and actually I find that often you don't have that sort of there isn't a height restriction as such in that space, it's just like a little space and as long as it fits width way in there the height doesn't matter. So if you have a storage space for a pushchair where that's the case then this should be fine. But particularly in the boot of my car it does take up quite a lot of the space. I have a Kia Seed. Again the pushchair is quite narrow so if you have a short but deep car boot you'd be able to put this on its side and it might not take up as much room that way. I can still fit quite a few bits around it. I have previously had a Bugaboo Fox and that took up the whole boot of my car. Uh, I can definitely get more stuff in my car boot with the dragonfly than I can with a full-size pushchair like that one. So it is a mid-size pushchair but there are some other pushchairs on the market that fold up a little bit more compactly. So if the compactness of a pushchair is really important to you then the dragonfly might not be the best fit. Another slight downside to the dragonfly is that it's quite a long feeling pushchair. The way that they've designed it so that it folds in on itself and it stands up etc means that the handlebar is quite long and kind of tilted at this angle. It's not like really upright, it's sort of further back, which just makes the pushchair a bit longer. I don't really find it difficult to push through um, you know, shopping centres or aisles with it. It's just a slightly longer feeling than some other pushchairs, so just one to be aware of. I think if this is your only pushchair, you're not really going to notice it. It's very subtle. It doesn't feel like you're pushing a bus or anything, which if you've ever pushed a tandem pushchair, you'll know what I'm talking about. It doesn't feel like that, but it does have a slightly longer feel to it than some other pushchairs do, and that can make it a little bit harder to lift up over curb edges and stuff, but I've done it, I've lifted it up over curb edges without any issues. It's just, if you've 
you've ever pushed something like a bugaboo fox or like a really well suspended push chair, you'll, you'll feel the difference there. But again, those are bigger, bulkier push chairs, so you compromise in other areas for those too, but just something to be aware of. And the final thing I think is worth mentioning about this push chair is the hood. So bugaboo are quite well known for having brilliant hoods, particularly on their fox, the donkey, and previously the chameleon, which I believe they're now phasing out. They have these really great hoods that have brilliant coverage. So you never needed to have like a, a snooze shade or throw a muslin over them, which you're not supposed to do, but. But the hoods on Bugaboos have always been so good that you don't need to worry about that. The Dragonfly hood is a little bit different and it doesn't matter so much I found with the seat unit attached, but when he was in the bassinet unit, I really noticed that there were times where it would be sunny and I would have to try and like cover part of the push chair whilst leaving some ventilation space obviously because the hood didn't come far enough down which is a bit of a shame because like I said Bugaboo are known for having great hoods and I kind of wish they'd stuck to their original hood design that they have for like the fox and the donkey which has like three big um, sections that pull over whereas with this one they have like two smaller sections and a third one that unzips to make it longer and it does make it bigger and then a smaller one that pulls out but I just would love to see them make that extension a bit longer because it does make a big difference when it comes to the protection from the sun and the coverage with your baby and I think it's something they could probably quite easily do. It's only a small nitpick of mine to be fair because the hood is still pretty good compared to other push chairs it's probably very comparable to them it's just compared to other bugaboos they have had some really great hoods so I just kind of would like to see them introduce that a bit more with this hood although they do have a number of options for hoods so particularly in the summer you can actually purchase like a breezy hood which has a full coverage um, like nets that comes over to give you more shade um, so you could consider getting something like that but that does add extra expense to the push chair because bugaboo products are not cheap and I also have to say that now that Oren is sitting up in the seat unit the hood is absolutely fine and has more than enough coverage I haven't needed to use a snooze shade in a while if he's sleeping in there well he rarely sleeps in his push chair anyway to be fair but if he does the hood is now enough coverage with the seat unit on just something about the difference between the seat unit and the bassinet is, is quite fascinating but yeah definitely has better coverage with the seat unit so there you go that is my review of the bugaboo dragonfly like i said before this is just my own personal experience of using the product you may have different needs that you have for your push chair and hopefully this video was helpful in you being able to decide whether or not this push chair is right for you overall my opinion of this push chair is i really like it i use it a lot it's definitely the push chair i choose to take with me to go food shopping it's the push chair that i grab out of the car when i'm in a hurry because it's really quick and easy to put up it's reasonably lightweight if you haven't put heavy things in like the little storage bag which by the way you can keep things in that too you don't have to empty it out all the time the main part of the basket when you fold the push truck you do have to have empty but the little storage pouts on the back can keep stuff in it that's another really useful feature actually probably should have mentioned that earlier on but yeah it just it is just a practical push chair it's not the smallest it's not the biggest it's not the most terrain capable it's not the least terrain capable it doesn't have the most massive basket on the market, it certainly doesn't have the smallest. It just fits in the middle quite comfortably. And for somebody who lives in a two bedroom flat with not a lot of storage space, but just a little space outside my flat to store my push chair, that has a small to medium sized family car, and who lives an urban lifestyle, often drives into the shops or walks to the small supermarket at the end of my road to do a stock up, uh, stock up shop, it just fits my needs perfectly. So I really like the push chair, I would recommend it. And if that sounds like it's kind of your lifestyle and you're looking into the Bugaboo Dragonfly and you like the look of it, then maybe it's one you could consider. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I do really like how it looks. Bugaboos are known for being stylish and there is something kind of fun about pushing a push chair that you really like the look of. And I think the Dragonfly looks quite cool. Thank you so much for watching guys. Do please subscribe. I will have more video reviews coming out on baby products coming up. So if you're expecting a baby, maybe subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thanks everyone, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.